Um, I feel with my background playing Australian football, it sort of comes natural to me. Um, just being able to kick a ball and obviously being precise with my foot skills. So I should be able to do that in my sleep, to be honest. So um, like the rest of the other Australians around here. So if I'm not doing that, um, I probably shouldn't be here. So, but yeah, it's obviously good to help out the team. But um, yeah, obviously my open field punts I've been working on, and I'm sure you see it. I've improved on, so um, that's been a big, a big part of my game. Um, coaches have sort of allowed me to open up this year and just let them fly, so it's just been um, fun. Have so. you changed in technique at all? No, not oh, Like, what do you mean? As in, in terms of getting more backspin on the ball or anything like that? Um, not necessarily. Um, as I said, I've just been angle punting a lot more than what I have been. Still, still doing a rollout every now and then just to keep other teams guessing. Um, we've got that many different launch. Punting the ball from, so we're just trying to keep against it. But no, not really any sort of different backspin. I spent a fair bit of time in the gym in the off season, so I've just been um, just through my legs and stuff. So I've just got a lot stronger in my legs and um, just been able to hit the ball a little bit further. Even though I'm almost due for my pension, um, it shows as old as you can get, you can still put on a, a bit of strength in the legs. So believe me, you're not almost. <laughs> Um, I like letting a big one fly straight down the straight down the field, sort of like the I don't know, I think it was my third or fourth punt, a big a 55 yard ball dropped it on the five. I think just those big balls down the field just makes you feel good. Um, just letting them fly down the field. So um, obviously not trying to outkick my coverage. Poor Tavon's got to go on wide receiver, then uh, punt return, then then do all these different stuff. So I try not to make him run too hard, but uh, he loves it. He's like a he's like a greyhound flying down the field. So. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Do the people back home watch your games so they know what you're doing? Uh, obviously my mum does, she's my number one supporter back home, so um, she does. Um, some of the stuff's hard, uh, it, does, it doesn't really get televised, like the like Michigan game did, it got televised on our cable which is called Foxtel back home um, so that did um, I'm not sure if this one will get televised this week I'm sure it's on ESPN 2 I don't know but um, yeah they obviously do um, a couple of my good buddies like play pro sports back home so they're always tweeting or Instagramming about me so it sort of gets out but there's a lot of other Australian punters out here there's I think it's six or seven in the NFL now so it's just a pipeline and, and sort of pathway for us to all come over so um, what's the time difference now, so it's a bit backwards. So, um, what's the time now exactly? Six. Six something. So, so it's eight thirty-six. So it's six thirty-six. So it's eight thirty-six in the morning. So I just add on two hours and then flip it twelve hours, if that makes sense. So from from night to morning. So. What do you, what do you miss most from home being here? Um, not really. Um, I'm I'm a pretty well seasoned traveller. So before I come here. Um, I moved out of home pretty early, so I was pretty self-reliant on myself. Um, obviously, just family and that, but like not really much. I love the sporting culture over here, so I love the entertainment industry and um, all that sort of things of it. Um, you guys aren't far from Europe, so I love traveling on the eight-hour flight rather than a 42-hour flight from Australia. So um, anytime I can get across the, Medi the Mediterranean, I don't mind too. How so. many times have you done that? Europe, probably about two or three times now. So yeah. Um, just try and get across. I went to Hawaii, um, obviously, in July, so I just try and travel as much as I can, so. What are um, your goals um, this year for yourself? What are my goals? Yeah. Um, just trying to be consistent as possible. Obviously, you always have ambition to go on to the next level. Um, so the time's running out. Um, so just try and push it as quick as I can. Um, no such goals as like trying to win all these awards or not. Just trying to be consistent to put myself in the spotlight to hopefully play well enough that scouts obviously see me or whatnot. So you, you do want to end up trying to go in 
Yeah, for sure. Who wouldn't like that paycheck, I suppose? So, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. So, um, yeah, ultimately, yeah, that's a goal. But um, if not, as I said, like, I'll come over here and I'm, I'm doing my Masters now. So, hopefully, I'll finish mid next year. And then um, whatever happens out of that evolves out of that. So, that was pretty much my ultimate goal was to come over here and play pro back home. I didn't have a degree. So, I uh, wanted to get that. Um, just come over here and experience a new thing. So, and this has been great for me. So, as I said, um, even though I'm hanging around with some um, young kids, but that's all right. Did you give uh, Mallow any tips about Australia? Yeah, so I actually messaged him um, the other day because I didn't realise my brother messaged me. He goes, oh, do you know this guy from 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 your school um, at Maryland played basketball there? And I'm like, who's this guy? And he showed me it was Mallow. And I was like, oh, I didn't realise he was playing in Cairns. So I reached out to him and told him to, to get in contact with my brother and he'd take him out on the Great Barrier Reef and that and, um, yeah, take him around. So um, I'm sure you'll get in contact with him. But... Yeah, man, he's just got to watch out for those stingrays and sharks over there, so he might not come back in one piece, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I heard there's a brand called Foreign 20. Yeah, Is Foreign 20 Pie. I miss him. I miss him, yeah. There's one thing you miss. I heard Ben Simmons miss those so much, they're going to bring them to Philadelphia. Yeah, I think that that's their sponsor now, Benny Simmons, got them at Philadelphia, so... Yep. Dustin, if you can pull our 4 and 20 sponsorship over here as well, <laughs> mate, I wouldn't mind that, so... <laughs> <laughs> you said you would work that strong in the gym. Uh, what what did you do and, and was it strictly like you know more weight on the legs? Or? Yeah, so I come over here. Um, showing football is like a big endurance sport, so um, it's it's looks it's like a lot of running, like soccer and that. A little sort of a little bit more muscular, but um, I used to run up to like 12, 12, 13 miles a game. So like we used to have a GPS and we used to run, run, run. So my legs were like the size of my arms. So. Um, when I see Brion Gaddy's legs and I, I compare them up to mine, it's, it's a bit embarrassing, but I've been working on mine and um, yeah, just strength in the, in the gym, just squats and whatnot and just single leg um, um, dumbbell raises and just sort of all that sort of stuff. So just nothing too heavy that's obviously going to throw me out. As I said, I've got to watch my bones and my muscles at this age, but um, yeah, just anything just to help me, just sort of benefit me in any way. But, You're one of the national leaders for punts inside the 20. And it was kind of discussing this with someone the other day. Um, first of all, do you pay attention to that kind of stuff? Like, do you look at punting stats nationally and see where you rank up against the other guys? I wouldn't even know where to find it. Obviously, um, the other week where I got nominated for that Ray Guy Award thing, um, it, it, was like, it was on Twitter and um, Instagram and stuff, so I obviously see that. Um, I honestly don't know how many inside 20s I've got at this point. I know my average, um, it's improved on last year, which is sort of a key component where I wanted to improve on. Um, that's, what, that's what I want to ask next. I mean, when you look at punters, I mean, obviously, a lot of it depends on, you know, where you're punting from, what the offense is doing, and things like that. I mean, how do you think punters should best be judged? Should it be punts inside the 20, the length of the punt? I mean, how, how do you think guys are best judged? Uh, it should be taken into account for, obviously, each different punter. So, obviously, a team that's going to move the ball a lot more in a more dominating team, say like an Ohio State or an Alabama, they're going to get more pooch punts coming inside, but Tim's going to lose by 30 or 40 or whatnot, they're going to get more open field punts because they're going to go three and out more. So it sort of depends. You've got to, I suppose, take the good with the bad. Um, it's just got to be sort of accounted for all around. Obviously, if you've got a guy that's got more pooch punts, and yeah, so you've got to take take sort of both of it. So. What do you think? What, what, what do you think of uh, Petrino has done so far, and, and how old is he look to you? Joey, yeah, now Joey's a good little kid, so no, he's awesome. So um, <laughs> now he come in, um, he was obviously very ripe and fresh. Um, he come off a soccer background, so um, obviously me at that age, just, well, I, like I was, I was pretty mature. I still am now. I still joke around. Um, so just try and keep him level-headed. Um, he's a big talent. He, he's great for this program. So that was a very good get for him. Um, Obviously, I just see it's five from five on the season. He hasn't even missed look. Uh, looked like he's like even bit, uh, even come close to missing. So um, touch wood. So I hope I don't jinx him there. But um, yeah, no, no, he's great for this program, and he'll do great things. Obviously, in the years to come. So no, he'll be good.